Okay, guys, we are back. Um, I decided to just switch the formation around again so with uh, Alyssa and put a crow in. <laughs> um, so anyway, <coughs> so let's go ahead and talk to a couple people, like usual. Oh, let's see. Orwell Revolution elected a rank for a group increasing exponentially in size. In order to better manage that, it was divided into four large divisions. Gwyn, the former chairman who was responsible for that, he's the man who made rank for what it is today. Okay. Come on. All right, er, incidentally, the current chairman, Arena, was the one who then introduced a self-supporting accounting system. And that's what made each of the four divisions even more profitable than they would be otherwise. Okay. Let's go back in here for a second. I want to see if there's anything different amongst the people. I mean, that's how it is. Like, every every field say every, something changes. Let me talk to these over here. Did they settle on something yet? Can you now? If I took my clients on vacation, I'm sure that would make for quite the spectacle. Oh, I should, probably should talk to the guy first. So he says, Can I introduce you any optional extras? For instance, we can install some floating components that will allow you to land on the surface of the water. Ooh. So that's always a good idea. <coughs> it sounds as though, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already talked to him about that. I'm actually curious. Can you actually go back? I'm just curious. <laughs> Hope it doesn't, like, change the storyline or something. Oh, shit. Was I not supposed to? Oh, okay, sorry, that freaked me out because like, everyone's in the elevator. I'm like, oh shit, did something happen? Did I like, skip the game, cut like missions and shit that I wasn't supposed to do? Okay, good. Nothing happened. All right, here's Sharon. Let's talk to her. Welcome back, my lady. I made up all the beds, so you're welcome to take a nap if you so desire. And if you need a comforting arm around you as you drift off to sleep, I'll be more than happy to oblige. I'm not shouting anymore. I'll be fine on my own. Giggle. Chairman Arena will be back around noon. In the meantime, I wish you well with your field study. Okay. Please make yourselves at home. <clears throat> That's cool. So, um, oh wait, does that mean if we fight, we can actually just come back to the hotel and rest? Let me let me check on that, actually. I'm curious. So we go to any bed, or... No? Ah, oh, darn, okay. I was hoping for that. That'd be, that'd be a nice way to save money. Uh, okay. Alright, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and go back. Oh, we can... We can fast travel. Okay, here. <laughs> wow. That's actually... I totally, I totally forgot again about fast travel. So let's see. On arms, store, baronia's general goods, jackass's repair shop, highway, by road, mountain path. Okay, so let's... I will walk it first. Okay, I want to talk to the people. So we're going to do the milk mission first. With vanilla. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Uh, like usual, I guess we can just go ahead and... Yeah, we'll just talk... We'll just go into the places, talk to people and whatnot. So, <coughs> Cisna, apparently Lady Angelica and her father, the Marquis, aren't exactly on the best of terms. <sighs> if it weren't for that, I'm sure she'd come and visit us occasionally, too. Okay, and then this girl. There's nobody like Lady Angelica. That's what makes her so wonderful. Oh, yeah, she's definitely a unique one. <coughs> Especially the way she treats uh, women. There we go. All right, Mar... Marquis Ragnar and Chairman Arena of the Rainford Company are considered to be this region's representatives. And yet, I've never seen either of them in the cathedral. Honestly, do they not have a shred of faith between them? Okay. <sighs> hey now, man. Don't don't force your religious beliefs on others if they don't need it. Just saying. Alright, and this guy. Leonard. Ever since the self-supporting <coughs> accounting system was introduced, probably just keep going up and up. But the workload falls with it. Sigh. Still, I don't want the other divisions to be better than ours either, so I'll be heading back to work shortly. I guess I might as well say my prayers before I get out of here. Sister Sue keeps going at me a lot lately. She's starting to scare me. Okay, and this guy. The city of Ruhr owes <coughs> its development to the manufacture of arms and munitions. As you can imagine, men of the cloth such as myself have mixed feelings about that. Hopefully the people of Ruhr won't forget what it means to think of others because their city is built on death. Oh god, <laughs> that's a horrible way of putting it, but I guess that's true. Alright. And I'm afraid I know very little about the internal affairs of the Rainford Company. Chairman Arena and the other higher-ups aren't exactly frequent visitors to our church. If you could find some use in heresy, however, I heard that the internal conflicts are so fierce that even the chairman can no longer bring them under control. Interesting. Perhaps it was the goddess's guidance that brought you back here now, Lisa. I pray that all of you will be able to play some role in resolving this. True. We gotta figure out what the hell's going on around here. Alright. You know, I never asked this, but, like, does Link level help uh, with experience level? 
Because, like, like we noticed, whenever we were in battle, like, if I linked up with Fee and other characters, like, I noticed that, like, some people got different amounts of experience, or XP, when they leveled up. Like, like, like right now, Fee was actually higher than, than Machias and Crow, I think. Or was it Machias? I, my, I don't know. But, like, she was definitely higher level before, and now she's, like, below everyone, which is kind of weird. I don't know. Alright, so we're not going that way yet. Let's go over here. Oh, God, they're playing hide-and-seek again. Oh, wait, no, be below. The city of Rio is designed to be divided into two areas, the upper level and lower level. But a design like that means that you can fit twice as many buildings into it as you could otherwise. Marvelous, isn't it? Functional beauty at its finest. I really want to study at the Institute of Technology when I'm older. Kihi, I love the chance to study the city's functional beauty and even create more of it myself. Okay. That's right, kid. Broaden your horizons. Don't let anyone ruin your dreams. And this is... Alright, this is still locked. <coughs> I'm assuming that's something we had to go through at some point in the game. Plot device. Am I right, guys? Alright, we'll check there in a second. Like I said, we're just going to explore everywhere again. Uh, been a major weapons manufacturer. Or will evolution to the company expand to other fields? Now it's one of the few... Blah, blah, blah. Money, money, and major nobles. Blah, blah, blah. Major Marquis Ragnar is a little bit awkward. Okay, Texas... Oh, yeah, wait, wait. We're going to read that. Apparently, the Rainford Company is going to be treated as a special case when a tax hike comes in. Oh, yeah. That's a big issue in this game. After all, even 1% tax increase means that the company is going to be paying a few hundred million more Mira. Oh, God. All this talk of money makes me want money. <laughs> Joking. Let's check down here. <coughs> oh, okay. Almina. It was thanks to Grand that I was able to open this bar in the first place. I always dream of owning a place like this. I just can't begin to thank him enough. It wasn't easy, though. We had both had to put our feelings aside to make it a reality. Sometimes I wonder if we did the right thing. Ah. Ah, yes. Love is a complicated matter. Alright. Almina's dream was a beautiful one. I'm proud to say that I was able to help bring it to fruition. Now that I have, I need nothing more. I want only to bask in her radiance. Okay. Mr. Casanova. Alright. And this guy. I'm researching the orbital wave-based te communications technology. Epstein Foundation and Lemon State is unquestionably leader in the field. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm not gonna. There's so much dialogue, I'm gonna try to cut it down for a little bit. Rainford Arc is included. Gonna sit around twiddling my thumbs as other people surpass me. Okay. I know, there's a lot. There's, there's definitely a lot of stuff to read on, but like, even I'm getting a bit tired. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not bored or anything like that. I'm not bored with all the different, like, things people say. It's just, there's a lot to take in. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> but that's what makes this game fun. You, you get to read and. Talk to a lot of people and see different, like, viewpoints, which is really interesting. All right, anyway. Uh, did I talk to this lady already? Let me double check. It'd be foolish to try to deny that Erin Rainford is a skilled businesswoman, but that doesn't change the fact that she's still the company from the former chairman. And he's her blood father at that. I can't condone that kind of thing. Uh, okay. I'll admit, that was kind of a mind-blower during a Geis' field study. Or his Nord's field study, sorry. Like, knowing that she got her father kicked out that's kind of messed up but there might it might be revealed why she did it you know my coming so okay we already read that okay love for the erebonia to look like just like the blah blah okay you know this guy had a lot of business plans right, this guy <coughs> i keep telling probably not okay i have no choice but to confiscate it <laughs> oh man careful most mates can she'll probably like smash you with the radio instead of you taking it <laughs> Apparently, the rear orbital radio station was started by students. It was apparently a student venture or something. Must be nice to be that smart. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, let's just fast travel. Arms. There we go. Oh, wait. No, no. We're not doing this one yet. Let's uh, let's go back out. <laughs> we'll come back later. Don't worry. Come on. Right, there we go. Um, keep exploring. They're still playing with the damn car. Jesus. Our, our orbital... Okay, but it runs out of energy in five minutes. But we can make it last longer. It'll sell like hotcakes. I know. It, it will. As a toy, of course. Who cares about seven hours? All I care about is proving this car and starting a business. Hmm. Okay. So, this guy, uh, Gregor. <coughs> I spent most of the last year playing Blade. I spent most of this year focused on this remote control car. Probably more worried about whether I have enough credits to graduate. But if I don't, hey, another year of this. Being a researcher isn't about grades anyway. It's about passion. Okay, then. Oh, whoops. And let's go check out the building. <coughs> Don't be like Crow. <laughs> Crow begged us to put him in class 7. 
All right, this guy. We want our research and invention to revolutionize, revolutionize people's lives. Ask any student here and they'll tell you the same. That's what we'll dream of. Uh, we all look up to Professor Schmidt and former Chairman Gwynn. The two, those two made the dream a reality. Okay. Every student's dream. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have your invention change the world? All right. Uh, this guy. What? You mean the staff, the stand of yesterday evening? Yeah, I heard about it too. The provincial army's armored cars were made here in Ruhr, so it's sick that they, you were used to intimidate people like that. Yeah, it's kind of that was still messed up when we first saw that, guys. All right, and we're researching the no, <coughs> we're researching the technology that could potentially be used in weapons too. Things like that, what happened yesterday, really make you stop and think about what where exactly your research is going. Okay, and. Not only was Professor Schmidt a disciple of the famous Professor Epstein, he found this institute 50 years ago to spread orbital technology across Arabonia. Ever since, this institute has been the center of the orbital development here in the Empire. Maybe we're going to get all the press, but when it comes to in fundamental research, this, in the, this institute comes out on top. Ugh, my tongue. <laughs> I'm like getting dry mouth for here. Sometimes students here end up making significant, significant inventions which go on to have a large impact on people's lives. For example, the group of students have established the Empire's first, very first radio station. All right. Oh, yeah, the orbital washing machine. Okay. And then mass market. Gotcha. Okay. I'll be a bit quick on these dialogues now because I, I my mouth, my breath is starting to, or not my breath. I'm starting to <coughs> run my mouth dry. Oh, God. <laughs> I think this is the first city that's actually made me, like, tired and just talking because there's so much technological, well, you know, talking and technological stuff to talk about. Which isn't bad. It's just, again, so much talking. <laughs> Alright. Um, Jesus Christ, so many people. This guy. We'll just we'll be quick. Alright, first and second factories, getting along. Different set of orders in every minute. Taking out of time. Producing more or less. We've both been told both. Just tell me one thing and let me stick with it. Gotcha. Alright, this guy over here. Hi, dog. Okay. <coughs> Chance on Osborne that this nation's railway network has been expanded as much as it has. Easier for people and goods to move all over the country. Uh, changed significantly. Railway network was first established. Gotcha. What's over here? Tourist. We're on our way to the station from the airport right now. <coughs> apparently the station he, apparently the station huge too. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, sorry. Airboys really do love everything to be gig <coughs> gi di <coughs> gigantic, don't they? Sorry, uh, give me one second, let me take some water in. Ugh, okay, thank you. Uh, sorry. That, I needed that. Alright, another tourist. Rio Airport truly is a magnificent structure. Alright, Redford was responsible for building that as well. They're one incredible company, that's for sure. <coughs> okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, uh, uh, God. This guy. I just received word from the mansion that Lady Annabelle was sighted in her grand. Ah, okay, we were right. It was her. <laughs> I must hurry there at once. Wait for me, my lady. I am on my way. That's right, so it was her. She was the one fishing, right? That has to be her. I'll have to probably go back to the village just to double check. But I'm pretty sure it was her. Alright, so the maid, Linda. My grandma's not the only one who wants our shop to outdo the Rainford store. It's hard not to feel competitive when they're right across the street. When it comes to drawing customers in, there's no one better. Practically, par par that sounds weird. Practically, because that's all I know how to do. Probably practically, not partially. Whatever. <sighs> Even the game's making up words. <laughs> I can't properly say. Maybe they, I mean, maybe they are words, but I just can't pronounce them. Alright, we can't beat, not even by Ranford. That's our motto. Alright, blah, blah, blah. I think she said, she said, ugh, she said this last time. <coughs> God damn. God, I, I'm losing my vo not losing my voice, I'm just getting tongue-tied now, at this point. Okay. A couple more people to talk to. Looks like there's going to be a tax hike here in the Nordia province soon. But wouldn't that hurt the Rainford Company? I guess that's why it's been postponed for the time being. Here's hoping that the chairman can, can stop it from happening altogether. Okay. Yep, taxes are bad. Alright, and this guy. Brewers factories are consuming more and more energy every year. Lots of people believe that we're at the rate we're going. We're going to need more, a couple more generators. But new infrastructure like that is the first factory's job. Alright. Same thing. These guys over here. Oh god, the kid. Alright, where are you, Toddy? Uh, I can't find him today either. Why do you have to be so good at hiding from me? <laughs> Alright, we'll be quick about again. Be quick. Alright, Engineer Freck. Must be nice working at the first factory like you do. Just seems to be getting bigger with the money Steel brings in. 
I think the first factory is the only place day can get a bonus. <sighs> and then this guy. Kaha, I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds like your place is doing pretty well these days, too. Everyone's w talking about how the third factory's got some big project underway. The details are top secret, though. Is it something like the Courageous? Okay, keep going. Oh, God. I at least want to do one mission before this, the video ends for today. <laughs> Both my parents died when I was younger. Ow. So sorry. God, that, that, well, that just ruined the, the mood. <laughs> uh, that was when da Devon, who was a close friend of my dad's, decided to take me in and look after me. He may not be my actual father, but he's always too wanted me to treat him like we're family. Hehe, <laughs> it's been eight years now since he first took me in. It's kind of nostalgic thinking about it. You really do have a rough home life. Not that I can't relate. Guess these two have a lot in common. Yeah, but it's nice to know Lisa has at least one good friend back home. And, alright, just a little more cleaning to do, then I need to go and work on getting the books done. He couldn't balance them to save his life anyway. Hehe, <laughs> keeps me busy at the very least. And this kid. Haha, <laughs> he's not gonna find me. Especially if I keep switching hiding spots while he's looking for me. That's messed up. <laughs> God, he's such a brat. <laughs> Couple people. Rainford's made up of four. Okay, we already know about that. Uh, it's kind of a mess. <coughs> we got rumors that are actually five divisions instead of four. Uh oh. Couldn't tell you if they're true or not, though. I'm a humble factory worker, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually a hidden fifth division, but that could be either a good thing or a bad thing, guys. Alright, this guy. <coughs> Yuna's pet parents both passed away, you see. That's how I came to take her in. She's a good kid, hard worker, knows her math, all that kind of stuff. But she's still just a kid at the end of the day. She'd be lost without me around. Ga ha ha ha. Anything else? Okay. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Alright, so. This is. Oh, whoops. Over this guy over here. Hey, you there. This factory's off limits. Alright, same thing. Oh, shit. Uh. The fact is, for authorized personnel only, it's not a place for civilians. Okay, sorry I skipped that first part, but he meant he he just said like, this is where our tanks are built, which is probably something I shouldn't have told you. After what happened yesterday, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, residence two. All right, just a lady. Our Todd's always out playing with Wakamo from next door. He can be a little hellion though, so I do sometimes worry. I just hope he's not being mean to a poor little Wakamo again. Oh, trust me, Lay, she he is being a complete and utter brat, that's for sure. I should have just left him in that box. <laughs> just joking. Uh <coughs> sorta. Of. Alright, Jackass's repair shop. What do you got? Sounds like Gwen's daughter in arena is still keeping herself busy. If you ask me, her problem is that she's a little too smart. Cackle, nobody ever said being brain always makes you happy. Okay. All right, we're good here. We don't need to exchange anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Come on. All right. So, almost done. Don't worry, guys. We're going to start that side mission in a second. At least I think so. Um, we check there. We talked to those people. We already talked to most of these people. Let's go into the store here. <coughs> I don't think we need to buy anything, I think. So, hang on. Welcome to... Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Products are simple, but beautiful, innovative, but built to last. Okay, quality. Gotcha. Because the Rainford Company is also weapons manufacturer, they tend to avoid disclose, disclosing unnecessary information. But now, thanks to the factional conflict worsening, blah, blah, blah. Alright, keeping work for secret, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so basically they're keeping secrets from other divisions that they're making something. So, Which I'm not surprised about. Which is why that guy in the Restaurant said there's possibly a fifth division, which again, I wouldn't be surprised. <coughs> Alright, we're good here. Um, I believe that's everyone I talk to now, which is good. <coughs> Alright, let's go back up the stairs, or escalator. I'm just going to do one more double check. We were there. RF arms. Industry. The, okay, it's just the bar then. We'll just check out the bar and then we are good to go. We'll stop by Vanilla's house. <coughs> I'm really sorry for my coughing, guys. I, I can't help it. Wait, did we already come here? I feel like an idiot. Let me double check. I feel like we did, didn't we? 
Yep, okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> we, are, we were just here, weren't we? So, let's go back. My bad. <sighs> Sorry. So forgetful. Okay. This guy we talked to? Yep, we did. Alright, now let's just go ahead and start the mission. Let's go ahead. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> Not, my coughing is distracting me, and I'm a bit of scatterbrain at the moment. <laughs> Mainly because... <coughs> Yeah, coffee is a distraction. All right, vanilla. Excuse me, are you vanilla? We're students from Thor's Military Academy. Did you say Thor's? Does that mean you're the class seven students who helped my husband yesterday? That would be us. Then that must mean that your husband is Chief Johan then. That's right, thank you ever so much for helping him. Hey, what a funny coincidence this is. My daughter Mint attends Thor's too. Mint from the Wind Orchestra. I do think that's her club of choice. Does that mean you're part of it too? Yeah, Min and I get along really well. She makes practice a lot of fun. Hee <laughs> hee, that's so sweet of you. It's great to know she's made such nice friends over there. But back on topic, would you be willing to help me? Our cat Milk has gone missing and I'll need your help to find her. Mint, Vanilla, Milk. And then you have Johan and... <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh-huh, accept it. We'll find her. If we're going to find a lost cat, where did she go missing? Or when did she go missing? It was two nights ago. I was making dinner like I usually do, and I decided that I would try and make something a little different. So I decided to try using an ingredient I'd never seen before. But when I did, an odor pungent enough to burn off your eyelashes started coming from the pot. Oh, jeez. You, you said you never seen this ingredient before? I wonder if it was actually something edible. So then what happened? Well, my survival instinct was telling me to air out the room, so I left the door open for a while to try and get rid of the smell. But while I was open, milk seems to have gotten out. <coughs> so you haven't seen her since then. What does she look like? Well, she has brown and white fur, and she's wearing a yellow collar. She's also extremely cautious and doesn't really like people very much. So I imagine that she's probably somewhere without many people nearby. I see. It sounds like we should mainly search outdoors then. Is there anything else you can help tell us that may help us find her? Hmm, well, she loves to crawl under things. I don't know why, but it seems to relax her when she does that. <laughs> okay then. Well, that's just how cats are. I know how she feels. Y you do? <laughs> of course. Alright, anyway. Haha, <laughs> well, anyway, that should be enough information to get started with. Does that mean you're going to try to find her then? Of course we are. We'll get started right away. Alright, so we must find the lost milk. Anything else? Go look finding our sweet little milk. She's a little shy around people, so bringing her back might be kind of a challenge, though. <laughs> of course, Maki's like, wait, you know what it's like being cat? Have you seen her sleep around campus, dude? Seriously. Alright. Um, so I guess we had to look for her under the benches. Pretty much. Alright, Ozzy's not gonna show up on the map. Okay, so. Let's see. I guess we'll start over here. <coughs> we'll. we'll, we'll <coughs> excuse me. We'll. We'll. Oh, I, see, I can't even speak properly. We will. Not will. Will. Oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling myself to shut up. I'm going to look around in the circle. There we go. Not. Uh, see, this is, what, this is what I'm talking about. I'm stuttering and, like,. I don't know if I'm just exhausted or something, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a long day. It's Tuesday. So. And you, and usually people think Monday is the worst day. Actually, I think it's Tuesday. I mean, the worst of Monday comes, follows after into Tuesday. So it's actually like a double decker of like annoyances. If that makes any sense to you guys. In other words, like, bad shit happens on Monday, but then it carries over into Tuesday and increases that annoyance. If you get what my dread. What the? Oh, we found her. Hello. Hi, Milk. <coughs> <sighs> Here she is. I never would have thought to look under this bench. Yeah, it's an easy sp spot to miss. Now the question is how we're going to get her back. Ugh. See, I can't even see say a simple sentence, guys. Sorry. Now the question is how we're going to get 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 her. It's go get her. So how we're going to go get her to come back with us. Uh oh. No, no! Come back! Damn it. Not anymore, it's not. Cautious is right. We didn't have a chance. <sighs> well, let's head after her. Which way did she go? It, it won't tell me on the map, damn it. <laughs> um, let's... Let's just assume she went downstairs, then. So let's go down the stairs. 
Oh, we'll take the elevator. Why not? <laughs> Jeez. All for a cat. <coughs> okay. Let's see. Nope, not over there. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Chimeric milk. Another bench, huh? We can't let her get away again. So, who's gonna try to catch her? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Damn it, the cat's running away again. Not even running, she's just like... Like power walking. <laughs> and there she goes. You just had to say the word catch. Hey, don't go blaming this on me. This request keeps getting tougher and tougher. Ugh. Alright, so where'd that cat go now? Ugh. Jesus. Alright, I think there's a bench over here with a dog, right? Or, oh! Okay, right there. <laughs> this is actually kind of easy. <laughs> well, what do you know? She's under another bench. We need to be really careful this time. Yeah, we should probably start by spraying out so she has nowhere to run. Damn it. Uh-oh. Uh, um. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's, that's a first. Oops. She really is fast. She ran to the station. So, are we doing the same? Yeah, we let someone at the station know what we're doing. I'm sure they'll let us look... They'll let us in to look for her. <clears throat> they explained what was happening to a station employee and were permitted to investigate inside the station. Eventually, they narrowed down the cat's location to a single stop train car. Jeez, all this work for a damn cat. <laughs> They're just as trouble, troubling as mint and vanilla themselves. <sighs> this is just like back in um, uh, Heimdar. Alright, this only looks like the right train car. Let's take a look then, shall we? Alright, well, there's only one dot there, so I'm assuming that's the cat. Yep. Hello, milk. <coughs> there's nowhere to run. Hee <laughs> hee, here she is. There's nowhere to run this time. Uh oh. It doesn't seem like a smite did to get any closer, though. At this rate, we're not going to be able to get it back home. Ah, uh, if only I had my thingy with me. Your what? <laughs> She's talking about one of these. Crow pulled a chick cat toy out of his pocket. Ah, ready to go to the prepared. Why do you even have that? Are you always carrying it around? Heh. <laughs> Well, you never know when it's going to come in handy. Here, kitty kitty. Crow started playing with the cat. Purr, meow, meow, meow. <laughs> well, look at that. Even animals find me irresistible. <laughs> Doesn't look like we'll have any trouble taking it back to its owner now. Alright, cool. So there we go. Good job for... Thank God for Crow. See, even he... He's reliable. He's just a pervert. <laughs> Alright, hee hee, thank you so much for bringing her back. <coughs> Man. Hee hee, look at how happy she is to be back. Ha <laughs> ha, she's right at home here. Maybe that's because this is her home. I'm sure she's relieved to be back. I don't know what we would have done without you. Thank you all so much. Here, take these as your reward. I made them myself. Melted Grayton, nice. Thanks. Th these look great. I can't exactly say I'm thrilled to try these. Yeah, same here. They do seem edible, at least. Hehe, <laughs> well, thank you again. Alright, so we completed that. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Hehe, <laughs> I'm so glad Milk is back home. So, Milk, how about I treat you to some of my special home cooking tonight? Uh-oh, even the cat. Meow, <laughs> meow. She, she seems kind of traumatized. Oh, God. Poor cat. <laughs> Meow. Relaxing. Alright, guys. So, that is actually it for today. Sorry for my, um... <coughs> sorry for my constant stuttering and, like, not finishing sentences and coughing a lot. And this specifically... Specifically... See, I can't even say the, my S's right now for this part. It's just because, um... <coughs> I think the weather is just getting to me today. Because, like, I mean, like... I mean, like well, yeah, I mentioned this probably in multiple videos before. What like the, if the weather changes way too quickly for me, I, I get I kind of get sick. Uh, in a specific way, but anyway, don't worry, it's not a big deal. <coughs> I'm sure I'll get better. 
So anyway, um, that's all I, the time I have for today, guys. I will definitely finish the other two missions, and we have to progress further on in the game, and we'll be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed these videos for today, please hit the like button all three. That would be awesome and helpful, like usual. And we will keep on going. We are almost there, guys. And I'm actually curious what the hell's going on with, with uh, Rainford Company, like everyone's saying. So, that is all for today, guys. This is Amy Free Chaos, and I will see you all next time. Take care.